goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics, we back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you, and this one is to how to download Diamond Casino and Resort Business. Pretty much this is the new casino and all of the businesses and the missions we could play in single player, okay? Um, this is made by HKH191, he pretty much makes all of the online businesses that we could play in single player, okay? So, um, like I encourage you always to always read the description of um, the mod or script before you download it. They um, normally have important information that you know if um, it has any bugs or if it has any updates, change logs, things of that type of nature, including the requirements. As you can see right here, the requirements for this is scripthookv, scripthookv.net, and native UI. I will have a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install all three of these requirements, okay? Once you have those installed, you're going to come to this page right here where it says Diamond Casino and Resort Business. And you're going to scroll down to right here and download the latest current version of the game. I mean of the mod or script, excuse me. Uh, this one today as I am making this video uh, we are on 1.1 okay now if um, you see this video and they are on a later version by then then just download whichever one that says current okay so for me right now this is the last version of this uh, script or mod so I'm going to download the current one so once you download this it should look something like this on my left hand side. I have an empty folder with the Diamond Casino and Resort business that we just downloaded. Um, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna say DC and R business, okay? And on uh, my right hand side, I have a folder with my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up, okay? Um, what we want to do is open up our scripts folder inside of our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Open up your scripts folder. And let's go back over to our download, which is DC in our business. Let's go ahead and open up that folder. And inside that folder, we'll have another folder. Open up that one. Now we're going to have a folder and um, two files in a readme. Okay. What we are going to do is take the first three, okay? We are going to take the first three that I have highlighted, DC in our folder, disable businesses, and DRACBusiness.dll, okay? We're gonna take these three, we're gonna drag and drop these inside of our um, scripts folder. All right, just like so as you can see. Now, um, that's going to be a simple installation for that. Um, I will leave a link down in the description for Simple Trainer. I forgot to mention that earlier. You will also need Simple Trainer. Uh, main reason why we need Simple Trainer because Simple Trainer has a function where we could en enable MP maps, okay, or disable MP maps. So you're going to need Simple Trainer in order to enable MP maps, all right? Once you have uh, Simple Trainer installed, let's go ahead and uh, minimize these windows. Don't forget, I'll also have a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install Simple Trainer also, okay? So once that's all installed, let's go ahead and run the game. All right, once you um, arrive back inside of the game, what you wanna do is open up your Simple Trainer menu. Actually, let's go ahead and go to uh, the casino first before we do all this. Now, if you open up your map, you're going to see some new icons. You should see some new icons. And it's going to be uh, this diamond, which represents the casino. And then you'll see your gun locker icon, which represents your gun locker and your safe inside of your penthouse. And you're also going to see a uh, icon for your personal garage at your casino, okay? Um, let me double check. I think that is all of the new icons, yep. So all the new icons will be here at the casino, okay? Let's go ahead and teleport over here to the casino. 
All right, and as you can see, this is the old casino. All right. What you want to do is come over here. Now we want to open up our simple trainer. If you can see it in the top left, scroll down to teleporting. And then you want to scroll to the bottom of the list on teleporting menu one, right here where it says other teleports. You want to select that. Now you want to scroll all the way down to you see enable MP maps. All right. You want to just click that one time. Now the screen should freeze for a little bit. And in the bottom right corner, you should see loading online. And you'll see it loading online with a little loading circle and boom. You should see the Diamond Casino Resort right there. And as you can see, everything around me, everything has loaded up. Okay. So you want to do that first before you um, can access the casino. Okay. And this is another thing also I kind of experienced was... Um, falling through the map when going on through these cursors so let me see when you get to the cursor you just want to press uh, over the marker when you get to the marker press right on the d-pad or e on the keyboard to enter into the casino a menu will pop up it will be uh, asking for memberships select memberships and right here you could buy a membership I'm gonna scroll down and buy the VIP plus membership that's about 12 million as you can see 12 million has been deducted from my account and we also have um, the options to get art. Oh, so click on art options and you have sculpture options and painting options. Um, right here, we could uh, pick what we want and where we want it at. Uh, remove sculpture. Let's click the preview design. Uh, and this is what I was uh, mentioning right here. When you go through the marker and everything, wow. <laughs> when you go through the marker the first time you're going to be falling through the floor okay it might not happen to everybody but i experienced this a lot when i first um when i first installed it all right so i'm going to show you a neat little trick to keep you from falling through the floor when accessing these markers to go through different floors of the casino first thing you want to do is open up your simple trainer click on teleporting then uh, select other teleports. Now scroll all the way down to you see vine wood teleports. Okay, select vine wood teleports. Now you have a list of all the vine wood teleports like your casino, penthouse garage, car park, penthouse, and roof terrace. Okay, go ahead and select casino. When you select casino, you'll be teleported instantly into the casino. And this time you will see people. Wow. You even see somebody passed out here. That's a new one. Wow, I guess somebody lost so much money. They had a heart attack or something. But um, yeah, as you can see, we have a car right there on the um, on the display thing right there. And you also have uh, the wheel, the daily spin wheel, which you could you know do your daily spins at. But um, for right now, like I said, let's go ahead and teleport to the next location, which is Penthouse Garage. Now the reason why we are teleporting because we want to we want to um, upload the interior. Okay, the only way to upload the interior so we won't fall through it is by actually teleporting to each interior through Simple Trainer. Okay, that way we can make sure that we won't be falling through the map when we use these nice uh, markers to uh, go to different destinations inside the casino. And as you can see on the roof terrace, we got a bunch of topless chicks and some hot tubs and all that good stuff. They out here partying. Now, once you have teleported through this whole list of on Vinewood teleports through your Simple Trainer, we can go ahead and exit out of Simple Trainer, open up the map, and teleport back outside. All right. So I urge everybody to do this before um, they even go to uh, go to the front door to this marker for the first time. Okay, I urge everybody to do what I just did. Just open up your uh, your simple trainer, scroll to teleports, then pick other teleports, and then scroll down to Vinewood teleports, 
and then teleport through all of Vinewood teleports, okay? All right, now that we have done that, we can go back to the front door of Diamond Casino and Resort, press right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard to enter, and boom, we entered right inside the casino. We didn't fall through the floor this time. All right, now I could go ahead and show everybody um, the little nice, little neat things that's been added. Um, I don't think anything has been added in the store. Just a couple of people walking through or staring at some stuff. And uh, you seen the car earlier. We have a bar right here too. Um, right here is where we could buy chips. You'll see um, instructions at the top left telling you to press right on the D-pad or press E on the keyboard. And that will bring up a menu where we could buy chips. You go ahead and adjust the amount of chips you wanna buy. And then uh, scroll up and select the amount of money for you to buy the chips. And as you can see, I just bought all of them for, uh, what's that? A million dollars. All right. And you can also uh, change in your chips for money. Okay, so it's the same deal just like the casino online. All right. Oh, also, um, let's see if we scroll back. It also gives us the option to uh, go into our business menu. I just found that out right here. We usually have to go upstairs to our computer to access the business menu. But since um, when you back out of the chips menu, this automatically pops up, let's go through this menu. Um, as always, you have your purchase options at the top where you could expand your business or choose uh, card deck options. You could choose to use the master deck or use the elite deck. And you can also sell your business. And the next option down on the menu is product options. And this is where you could buy and sell product, okay? It's pretty much the same thing like uh, the rest of the online businesses that we could play in single player, okay? Um, we have a couple of missions also. We have normal missions. We have uh, special missions. Um, we have our garage where we can access our vehicles or rent a vehicle or, or even get air vehicles like helicopters. All right. Also got, um, oh, hold on. Kind of exited out that menu. There we go. And we also got uh, the chips menu right here where you can buy chips from the business menu as well and you have miscellaneous where um, you can change your current host, the person that sends you uh, notifications, um, change the color, jacuzzi pads, you know, things of that type of nature. All right, now let's jump into this wheel. If we walk up to the wheel, we could press um, right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard to spin the wheel. As you can see, the wheel is spinning and it landed on what 40,000 and as you can see we get the notification in the bottom left letting us know that we won some money okay we won 25,000 chips and we won a whole lot of rp also all right now every time we spin this wheel it's going to cost us 5,000 chips so you can spin the wheel as much as you like you want a prize of four discount four percent discount the master's deck has now been reduced from 200 mil to 75 mil oh that's nice all right so you can spin that wheel as much as you want um so far the only thing we can't do that i've tried to see is use the slot machines yeah but um i think that that's going to be coming in a few more updates from the author so um, just stay tuned and look out for that I'm not saying for sure but you know I'm just saying it might because um, he has everything else working we could use the cards we could even um, go to the track horse the the betting the track horse bet place but it's gonna be a different uh, routine it's not gonna be horses but if you come over here to where you bet on the horses you go to this marker right here and press right on the d-pad or E on the keyboard and it's gonna open up this menu right here you're going to have a little menu that says race to win and you're going to see a couple of cars in front of you. Once you select race to win, you want to go ahead and press right on the D-pad or uh, right or left on your keyboard on the arrows to select what vehicle you want to bet on. It's going to be A through F. 
okay I'm gonna go ahead and pick vehicle B all right once you pick uh, the vehicle that you want you want to scroll down to enter bet amount once you select that there'll be a command thing that pops up where you could go ahead and enter in the amount that you would like to bet I'm gonna go ahead and just put 20,000 down once you uh, get the right amount press enter and you will see the amount that you just entered in right here next to enter bet amount it will say current and what the amount that you just entered down below will be the stall odds stall repair time uh, max speed the payout multiplier then you will have start race and cancel waste once you're already done putting your bet down and you pick and you have picked the car that you want to bet on you want to scroll down to start race select start race and you will see the cars start to go Now sometimes some cars will be sitting there and be having like a, some cars will stall on the line pretty much and they won't take off right away. So hopefully that won't be your car that stalls but for this one it was my car that stalled. <laughs> so pretty much they just keep going around until um, they finish the race. Six and a half hours later. Right, I figure once it gets on this last lap, it will say no more bets. It will say bet 20,000. And then you will see that you have uh, either won the race or lost the race. Now, unfortunately for me, it drops me off right here at the track when I get done. I'm not sure if it does this for um, everybody, but when I finish a race, it usually drops me off at the track after. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport back into the casino. All right. Excuse you. And if you teleport into the casino like that, just using um, using a simple trainer, then uh, you will see some things will be off, like you know the pits will be standing in the air and stuff. So if you uh, teleport to the track, just try to uh, teleport to the front of the casino and enter in through the marker. Okay. So that's how you play the horse betting thing over there. It's been switched to cars. And if we keep going down to the card room, the card area, we could play cards over here. All right, once you get to a uh, card table, there'll be instructions at the top left. Press right on the D-pad or press E on the keyboard to play poker. All right, um, I'm not gonna play poker because uh, I'm not too good at poker. I'd rather show you the blackjack. <laughs> But you could play poker, you could play blackjack, you could play uh, roulette. So you could pretty much play all of these tables, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, this one. When you press right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard to sit down to play, you wanna place a bet. By placing a bet, you press RB, which is the top right shoulder button on your controller, or you could press Q on the keyboard to place a bet. Once you uh, hit the button, it will ask you how much of a bet you would like to place. Uh, let's go ahead and leave it at 100,000. Once you enter in the bet, the amount that you want to bet, press enter. And then you will see all your chips right there down on the table that you are betting. All right, now from here, we want to uh, draw a card. Because if you look, you get in first person mode, there's no cards on the table yet, okay? So what you want to do is press RB on your controller or press Q on the keyboard to draw a card. All right. And we have a queen. OK, now the object of uh, blackjack is to get to 21 without getting over. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and draw another card by pressing RB on my controller or Q on the keyboard. And there we go. We have 16 right here. Now, if I want to accept the hand, I will press G on the keyboard or press right on my key uh, or press right on my D-pad. All right. So uh, I'm going to hold on to 16. Now we are going to see what the dealer has. Blackjack. OK, payout is 100,000. All right. The dealer had got, what, 60? Okay. 
Look like we just want some money. I think Frank looks a little uh, discouraged. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play another game. All right, I'll enter in another 100,000. All right, let's go ahead and draw a card by pressing RB on the controller or a Q on the keyboard. And I have a Jack, which is worth 10. I'm going to draw another card. And I have a 4. Let me go ahead and draw one more. And let's see what we have here. Oh, I have 24. Oh, wow. So we had crapped out right here. I don't know why it's allowing me to keep drawing and I'm, I got clearly over 21. <laughs> see, I went over 21, see? So we lost all the little money right there, all right? Once you're done playing, press right on the keyboard or um, E. I don't know, press right on the D-pad or Q on the keyboard, okay? So that's how you go ahead and bet on stuff, okay? Now, if you want to play missions and stuff like that, um, you could go to the place where you buy chips and access the business menu, or you could come through the high roller area and go through the management area. Um, I think is this where the management area is at? No, I guess the management area isn't there no more. We used to be able to go through the banishment area and uh oh nope, that's the wrong way. The wrong one. There's this one over here. Okay. Alright, now like I said, if you want to go to your office, go through the management area. This is where uh Miss Baker is at, okay? We are actually going to Miss Baker's office because her office is now our office, okay? Oh, hold on, we just passed the marker. Let me go check and make sure. I explain what this marker is right here. This marker we can enter into the garage, okay? And uh, this marker right here we can go to rooftop, all right? I'll show you that in a second. Let me show you um, the office. Let's come through here, run through here, run through here, and come in here. And uh, we also have um, another marker right here where we can access the helipad, okay? We can go to our helicopter pad through here. And you can see your casino through here. This is uh, Miss Baker's office. When you get to the chair, you can press RB on the controller or um, Q on the keyboard to sit down. As you can see, once you press it, you will see uh, your character sitting down in front of the computer. Press right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard to open up the menu. Once the menu is open, it'll be the same business menu that we went through earlier. And you can also start missions, um, access your garage, buy chips, purchase products, and uh, sell your business from right here. Okay. Once you're done making adjustments, you can go ahead and press RB on the controller or Q on the keyboard to get up. And there you have it, right there. All right, now, actually, um, let's see. Let's go into the menu and get a car. All right. Go to garage, select land vehicles, and let's go ahead and pick a car. Um, I'm gonna pick uh, the Gotlet 4. Alright, we uh, get vehicles required level 8, so I don't think we could get the vehicle yet, but we could buy the vehicle, I think. No, your Gotlet Hellfire is located outside the casino entrance. Okay, alright, so we were able to get it. So once you select the vehicle, scroll down to get vehicle and select it, and your assistant, Tao Chang, or whoever you pick, will give you a notification that you know that your car is outside. So let's go ahead and pick up our car that is outside. And I'm going to show you how we could save our vehicles in our garage here at the casino.
And this is so cool because we get to actually run through the casino, man. We don't have to, you know, walk and take hella time. We can run. And we can push the pedestrians out the damn way. Like him. <laughs> ah, all right. Let me come back in here. And we can exit. And there goes our Gotlet 4. Hellfire. Okay. This is the new one that we just bought from the business menu. Alright. Now you could take this car over to um, LSC or Benny's and you could um, go ahead and um, max everything out. Or you could just open up your mod menu. I'm going to open up Simple Trainer. Go to Vehicle Options. And go to vehicle mod menu scroll all the way down to you see max tune vehicle select that and that will give the vehicle its max tune-ups okay and um, from here you could just scroll up and take whatever you don't like off okay Also change uh, your livery on the vehicle by going to vehicle livery menu scroll down to Benny's liveries and you could go ahead and pick your livery right here okay I think I'm gonna roll with that one for right now all right once you get done um, adjusting your vehicle putting the mods on your vehicle that you want you want to come over here now usually there is a circle where you just drive into and that'll be your garage. Now if you don't see that circle, press insert on the keyboard. And insert on the keyboard will reload all the scripts, okay? And then you also get a message saying it's loading in interior pads, please be patient. So if you have to press insert to reload the scripts, wait till that message is gone and then enter into the casino okay you want to give uh, the casino a chance to load up everything but now that we have our circle out here now let's just drive into the circle then we will get instructions at the top right to press right on the d-pad or e on the keyboard to save a vehicle into the garage once you press that there will be a menu that pops up um, it's going to say garage options select that <clears throat> then it's going to say enter into garage select that and then it's going to ask you what slot would you like to put your car into. I'm going to leave it at slot 1. And then you scroll down to save current car. And then boom. You'll be right here on foot. And your car will be inside the garage. Alright. Now let's go back inside the casino. And I'm going to show you the rest of the markers. And the options we have over by the front desk inside the casino going right here and now our car is back and if we come over here we could um, upgrade our membership uh, if you open that up it'll be the same um, menu that we seen when before we entered into the casino but since I already bought the most highest membership I can't upgrade anymore but if you buy the lowest one then you could go ahead and upgrade later all right now through here is where we can enter in our penthouse or enter into our garage okay let's go ahead and enter into the penthouse now when you enter into the penthouse it's going to have you teleported right here at the roof terrace door okay all you do is just go upstairs and you will be inside of your penthouse all right they have a couple of markers inside your penthouse. Uh, we're just gonna go over them real quickly. This one is your wardrobe. Press right to access your wardrobe. You can change outfits or load and save an outfit, okay? That's pretty cool right there also. 
Then right here they have a marker where you can drink liquor. Click on drinks, select the shot, and then he will start to drink. <laughs> All right, that's kind of weird right there. Um, let's pick another drink. What's this whiskey shot? Okay, you got the whiskey. It's gonna take it right out the bottle like a G, huh? All right. Now um, let's see if there's any ones anymore. Uh, this is another closet, I believe. Yep, we have another closet. Also, in the bathrooms, we have a marker where we could take a shower. All right, as you can see, your character will start to get out of some somewhat type of clothes and start showering himself. There won't be no actual water running right now, but, you know, he's showering, right? <laughs> All right, and then he's going to throw back on some generic clothes and mess up my whole outfit I have for him, but it's okay. All right. Now, if we go right here, this is where you could uh, access the upgrades for your penthouse by pressing right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard. Once you open this up, this is the same menu we seen earlier. We have the options to place our uh, sculptures at. And we have a option to place the paintings, okay? Um, let's click on penthouse. Penthouse, we have the option to change the style. Of the penthouse so um, I selected two um, let's see let me select four then we can select a bar and you can select the spa you have the option to select a media room an extra bedroom um, bar lights um, do you want a dealer private dealer which type of arcade you want you can change the color and then of course you could buy it okay so once you uh, made your changes and you're happy with the changes scroll down to buy and select buy and you will see everything change around you okay as you can see we have a whole new color of everything and we should have all the rooms that we bought including the media room and in each closet you are going to see a marker where you will be able to change your wardrobe okay All right, we're not going to go through all the art options because uh, this video probably is going to be long enough. Uh, let's just run through the penthouse just to show you what we got. It's the meeting room. But you will be able to add paintings and everything too, okay? We also have our uh, media room right there. We have our private dealers. You just walk up to them and we could play here also. You'll see instructions at the top letting you know. Um, we can play here also. So we can play at both tables. That's, that's kind of better than the online one. We have two tables to choose from. All right. And through this door, we will have our bar. Okay. We set our little, you know, um, the de uh, decorations up. We have a bartender right here we could buy drinks from. Wow. She looks really tired. <laughs> she looked really tired, man. She got a glitched on maid bartender outfit. That's, that's crazy. All right. So um, we got uh, this little video game systems. We can't play the video games, though. But I'm pretty sure that will be um, possible within a few updates, probably. All right. And in here, we have our jacuzzi where we have some pids already chilling in our jacuzzi. Um, it also gives us the option to sit in the jacuzzi. As you can see, I pressed right on the D-pad and I am sitting in the jacuzzi with my uh, random pet friends and we are just enjoying ourselves. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get out here and let y'all continue to chill. Over here we, um, we have our barber chair but no barber and um, we don't have the function to use the bar bar to change our looks right there which is okay with me okay we also could access our wardrobe right here all right now let's go to the office area inside this office area we could uh sit down oh well hold on we could access our uh our gun locker right here we could give ourselves weapons mk2 weapons sci-fi weapons or normal weapons and right here, 
we have our money vault, okay, where we can withdraw or deposit and uh, show balance, okay. And we have about 10 vaults to choose from. All right, oops. <laughs> and if we go back here to our computer over here, we could sit down, just follow the instructions at the top, open menu, and we have the same business options that we had earlier, okay. Right, let's exit out of that. Now let's go to our, um, we went to the uh, roof terrace already by teleporting out there. It's pretty much gonna be the same thing. Uh, this goes to the helipad. All right. Now we have an option. We could press right on the D-pad to exit penthouse or press RB on the controller to enter into the casino. Let's enter into the casino. Now that we're in the casino, let's go ahead and enter into the garage. All right, now we are in the garage. We are inside of the elevator. If we just walk out right here, then we will be inside of the public garage, I believe this is. Nope, this is uh, the garage. This is my garage, okay? So this is the car that we saved earlier. If everybody remember, how we had uh, modified the vehicle, we had put this livery on it, and um, we have those generic ass rims that we put on there. So it, it, it kept all of the modifications that we put on the car, and it saved our car in our garage, okay? So we could easily access our car right through um, the casino, okay? And also if we come right here, then we could sell a vehicle. If you press right on the D-pad, it'll open up a menu where you can select a vehicle to remove, okay? So this is pretty cool. If we wanna go back in the casino, just go to the elevator doors, go to the marker, and then press right on the D-pad or RB on the controller. And you will be right here back inside of the casino. All right. So this is pretty cool right here. Um, everything is, you know, self-explanatory and stuff. Uh, I think I pretty much went through everything. If um, you have any questions, uh, definitely uh, reach out to the creator of um, of this mod and script. Okay, uh, the link to this will be down in the description. Just go to his download page. I believe he has a link to his Discord where he's able to. Um, reach out to everybody and answer their questions or concerns that they have okay so uh the creator will be able to answer your questions about this script way more than i will because um this is freshly made and i'm still learning all of the functions as well all right so um like always if this helped you to install it or if you enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5, okay? Oh, I just won the car. Oh, wow. Uh, it be ordered via your business garage menu. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Well, this is Games of Graphics. Me and um, lucky ass, big, balling ass Frank. We are out of here till next time, y'all. Big money, big money, big money. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.